Welcome back. If I had to try to remember, I think there were like 12 more stars to get. If that, maybe, maybe, maybe fewer. To get from... Ah, where should I go down? I'm trying to figure out where it is that we're most likely to find stuff. But I think there were maybe fewer than that stars left to get at... We should have added a jump at the end of those. I'm have to get in Bigfoot. The interior lights have been left on. That's interesting. Not there's anyone to be seen on Snake, so we can go down here. Just right up to some other point to see if we can find someone. I would think there'll only be like two questions left. Ah, two questions left or so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was worried about the landing there. Two or so questions left on. I'm not talking about poop now. Oh, yeah, there he is. On the quiz stuff, since. Very nice. Since I've been repeated this question, or I've been asked this current question multiple times about mountains, but I never actually answered the one about water or snow. Oh, lift one. Okay, so the one's on the left, so that I think would take me to the one with all four courses. That being. I'll call it octopus, it's not octopus, it's. What was it, kangaroo? I think it was? No, dolphin. I was, this kangaroo is also so this equal. Dolphin, wolf, shark skin, and serpent. Those are the ones that you come off of, you get off the lift one. Oh, but fox. Wait, is wolf is wolf the thing? Or am I confusing myself? I, I, I was thinking of fox, rabbit. Wait, no, Wolf is there, you nub. I'm confused myself on Wolf and Fox. Where? How can you get to other places from there? Well, where does Serpent spit you at, at, out at? Darn. I wasn't thinking about where S Serpent leads you. I don't think... I think Serpent might read you might lead you down onto Rabbit or Fox. I don't remember. I never spent time on those ones. I feared that this one would have less trickiness with some of these. Hmm. Ski down to the bottom of the slopes to lift. Oh yeah. I could have actually seen behind me that Foxway is up three, but whatever. Dude, you don't have any questions left. I really really am just hunting this guy down now. I should try to remember, after I finish everything else, to talk to this penguin person and see what it looks like being able to repeat things. Otherwise, though, I'm just on the lookout for, mostly for this one guy, I guess, because otherwise I think there's just the race to do before we head up to to Bigfoot, I think. Because so we have the collection mission, so th taking inventory for a second, we have five stars to get, I think, from having a good, jeez dude, cutting it close, having a good run down Bigfoot. We have a six star from finding the animal, a seven star from finding the orienteering guy, an eighth star from this girl here. Okay, now it would put me at 155. So then how many stars could be left? There's one for racing, I think just one. And there's, I don't know how many are left for um, 
the quiz is it could be a, I don't think it would be four Jeez, these people really come close I don't know if there's gonna be anywhere interesting to go from here it's interesting on the top of Alice has a place for people to congregate they don't really they're not really doing anything Only time I really appreciated something being kind of flat like that. Well, there's also the place where you have um, places where it, that look like actual spots to hang out and get food and whatnot, with actual food courts and the like. Those I like too. I never go on this path here. Oh, are there any more pictures to take with anyone? Oh, well, some of those are actually on the courses, which I'm not going down. We probably won't find all the pictures, unfortunately. I don't think there's much reason to do so. Okay, that one was just straight up a, a character from the Namco game, I'm pretty sure. That was a really slow way of coming back up here. That was the... That one drill character that I never knew anything about, but that I keep seeing references to, the... One whose head looks like a pink jelly bean. Are we gonna find a guy to take pictures with on here? Maybe, maybe not. Also, time of day might matter too. Time of day mattered, it seemed like, for one of the pictures actually that we, we took. Not the pictures, um, that too, maybe, but for one of the delivery missions, unexpectedly. As one was at night only. In fact, oh wait, it sounds like we might still have another delivery to do. Well, I don't know if you get told farewell for the deliveries, actually. There might not be a final farewell for the delivery missions, because you don't talk to the delivery person, or the, the person giving you the deliveries at the ends of those. I'm just looking for stuff. I might have to go... Oh, did I just talk to the kid at the bottom? I did, didn't I? Oh, we do have another delivery. Well, my answer is a little bit more about what other things I love to do. People are talking about being hungry next to the food shack. That's nice. Special. Oh, wow. Sure. Whoa! I actually feel like good about this. This is cool. Oh wow! Recurring characters. And yet we don't pay you. On the observatory. Okay, that sounds straightforward. <laughs> yes. Well. Well, yeah, but I'm not going down that. The, the course anyways. No, I refuse. Yes. I don't think she's a... Last one. Wow. <laughs> I'll, I'll get in trouble if you... I let you have your pops. Wait, are you not as old as I thought you were? Is it actually the same person in the sequel? Because I think she has like white or gray hair in the sequel. In the same voice. No, she has wrinkles already. Oh wait, though. <laughs> this is actually continuity of the last one, though, isn't it? We uh, we just delivered to the guy whose whose daughter is getting married too, didn't we? So this is like multiple characters coming together here. Did we hear anyone about coming coming down here to get married? I don't remember if we did or not. Whatever. This is cool. <laughs> it's like there's actually a little bit of a plot here. Oh wow, special office. Finally, something special with the bell. I knew that had to serve for something. Oh, this is a real, this is a real strange way of starting out here. All right, people, out of the way. So you would think we would just, oh wait. Yeah, you would think I would just take this here
Get on up. Yeah, this is real. This is really straightforward. This is actually a lot more straightforward than the other stuff, unfortunately. But I'll do it regardless. It's not like you have a lot of time, of course, but it's not like you can mess much stuff up either. Like, I didn't even pay attention. I literally skipped the dialogue for what I'm supposed to do. There we go, saving some time by not doing the turnaround animation. I mean, it gave me a ton of leeway, I guess, but still. Oh man! I actually recognize all these people here! It's not the racing guy! These are actually all the people that- These are all the recurring characters! Is this the game's climax or something now? I still have more to do, but like... Wow! And there's the- there's the father there. Cool. He's here too, of course. But yeah, look at these! Like, I act these are actually the, the people that give you the missions and whatnot. This is really cool! It's, I mean, it seems, I feel like to a lot of people it might seem like a silly small thing. I don't know why the girl's here, little girl, but, like, seriously. Hey. Ah, yeah, ringing the bell! Oh, yeah, she did say that. Okay, like, <laughs> That's a little urgent, but not urgent, sudden, but you do you. <laughs> it's an interesting logic to draw, but okay. Cool. You can't have your honeymoon here? I never thought about that. Instead of a wedding dress, you probably have like a, a not wedding thing. Or a or not, not wedding thing, but like um groom outfit if you're male. In fact, me having played as Granny in both these games might have prevented me from seeing some outfits, unfortunately. I didn't think about whether they're um, male or female only. Alright, though. Well, that feels cool. Well, having done that... Shoo! Let's see what else there is to do. There's at least the one guy to talk to. That is the, the quiz guy. If I can find him, then all the better. Careful there. Whoa! Oh wait. He's just there to say, um... The Anima Leader guy. He's just there to say that there is a a Bigfoot to be found, isn't he? Well, now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Pack the balloon up in there. It's just surprising to me how much life, like, such a... I mean, it's not like it's that big of a resort. It's not that big of a game world by most standards. And yet... I mean, I've seen smaller. even Smaller and even more lively game worlds. Namely in, um... Magic Pendle. What? And if you want to see a... A game that really... Manages to capture my... The same kind of sense of... Investment in a, in a world from me without... Having much stuff in it. That game's a really good example. I do have a playthrough of it. But... Oh man, I don't know where to look now. And just having some recurring characters and having like things happen between them and have... Like, hey, this thing you did led to this other thing happening. And like, part of it is like, things actually happening off screen. As silly as that might sound... Whoa. As silly as it might sound, having things happen off screen can be a pretty big deal. Because if everything's on screen, it it seems to kind of imply that like you're somehow the center of the world. I might actually walk around a little bit here. There you are. If, thi if things feel more real, if there are things happening off screen, and like there's a story unfolding uh, in the world around you that you're not, that you just get glimpses of, and you get updates on over time. In addition to things that you do yourself. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time in the next episode, and we talk to this kid again. Bye, everyone.